So it, it depends on how much knowledge you have everything. Like I've shown these guys because they're familiar with it. Once we get to here, I come in. If I just want to attack and cause this person a lot of pain, too, I take him over. If I just wrap my legs, I gave him up to a lockdown variation, if you know what that is. If I take this arm and pull it back and swim this one underneath, I go up underneath the head. This is called the twister. And it's just that it twists the spine. It's a really awful place to be in. There's high level guys, you'll see submissions like this. And it, it's not fun to be in. You know, it's high level stuff or higher level stuff, but just understand there's a thousand ways you can go from there. But let's go back to what we were originally doing. So I dump them over, I get my hook in. Okay, I control this arm. So let's just say I can take them over and work with your partners. What I want to do is I want to dive my head close to his head right here. And I'm going to go over, okay? As I do, I'm going to go over hook, all right? So I'm here, I got a base. I can't be doing this because he can bump me back up. So I got a base. I'm going to kick over. And as I do, I'm going to throw this one over and I'm going to throw my hook. Okay? So now I got my hook. So do not get to this position and do this. Because if I cross my ankles, he can wrap them up with his legs and he can go down and clear. I'll get my ankles wrecked or I'll be submitted. Don't cross your ankles when you do that. So I dump him over, boom, he goes for that. I'm going to insert the hook, come up underneath, and of course, you know, I'm going to have to readjust a little bit. I'm going to put my head to his head. I'm going to kick off with this leg and this one, and I'm going to roll. Nice and easy. Don't slam your head to the ground. It's nice and easy. Roll through. But if I want my head on this side, I want to come over and throw that hook. All right? And then, depends, you might keep this. Keep this for now. Keep this for now. Don't let go of this. Keep this for now. Don't, we can go to a seatbelt grip, but that's, don't worry about that. Just go right to here and get this. Most of the time, you'll land one side or the other. Uh, Gordon called this artificial uh, back mount. Where we're both setting up. It does happen sometimes. But you can go right to here. Uh, the Gracies call this uh, weak side, strong side. He calls it underhook, overhook, so there's different terminology for that. Just go right to here and keep this on, okay? Super important, we'll set up our first choke from here, all right? And I've been choking guys in this position for years, and I learned something brand new that I don't even know if you guys see it, it's really cool. But go right to this position. So one more time. Oh, so I dump him over, boom, get my hook. Going to go up and underneath the armpit. Remember, far side, some of you guys are going under this side, which it's, it gets confusing, it's understandable, don't worry about it. Right to here. I'm going to kick over. I'm going to try to dive my head on his side. As we're going, don't come heads. So I'm going to go under the boom, come up, put that hook in, and I'll keep this hand right here. I won't let go of it. Remember, I don't want to stay here either. I'm just going to go to where my, my uh, legs are against his, his inside of his thigh. So I can control him if I had to. It's the way I can kind of steer him to whatever side I want. But you can just set up right to this position. Okay? Just go right to here. That's all you got to do. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay.